So back with uh, one of the vlogs, not one of the, the formal uh, We Gamers or Bunker videos. This is pretty much just me doing Pet Project. Um, this is part one of the Battlestar Galactica Mobius uh, kit build. And uh, pretty much just a walkthrough. It's been a fair while, uh, bizarrely, since I've built an actual, you know, glue model kit you, yeah you're building miniatures all the time they're plastic and you're building vehicles and artillery guns but model kits for wargaming are very different i find generally speaking from uh, the good old traditional let's build a fighter jet and see what it's all about so yeah galactica i want this one for uh, the tabletop i want to be able to use this in uh, full thrust uh, BSG full thrust and I'm very much an old school Galactica fan rather than the new one though I have a new Galactica sitting there built and painted for me by Chris Caldwell thankfully so this is me having a little, uh, little go at getting back to a bit of traditional hobby so yeah, I flicked through the rule book you know, it's, it's not the most daunting one that I've uh, came across before Fairly straightforward. I like the fact that the, the little flight deck um, kind of perspective picture is on each side of the base of the box. I missed that the, the first time I was looking in the it when it was going through it for this. Sort of spot it. Ooh, that, that's kind of cool. Um, but it does mean that I'm going to have to do a bit of the, the painting prep to the lunch bays before I can do the assembly. So I'm going to leave them the last stage to build um, for the videos just sort of crack on with our stuff because now if you're a proper modeler and there are many of you out there and I have absolute respect for the hobby that you undertake this is by no means a modeler's uh, build project this is a gamer's build project for for a really nice model to I'm not going to do justice to it, I don't think. Um, so I can afford this to be a little bit rougher and ready. I'm not going to be putting lights into it. I'm not going to be too upset if not every join meets. So this is uh, the the bridge, the, the fore section of the ship. It actually came, as you can see, miraculously joined together already. And it was, it was a bit of a bugger. Uh, to get apart. Overall, the, the detail on this, to, to my eyes now, is, is splendid. Uh, given the scale of it, I don't know what, well, I suppose I didn't really know what to expect. Um, you know, I've played with things like Death Star kits and stuff in the, the dim distant past. I know they're bristling with wee nooks and crannies everywhere. Galactica, I haven't actually watched original BSG in quite a while. So I've got this mental picture of what Galactica looks like, and then you kind of get the kit one. It's it's much cleaner than I remember. It's a it's a lot tidier. Um, and yeah, I think that probably is true. I think it was actually quite a tidy ship. It wasn't sort of didn't look like a botched together thing. I was actually surprised when I opened it up how much of it is is in one piece already. Uh, like here's the the top deck of the the midsection, um, sort of the catamaran part that's that's gonna hold the lunch bays, and you know with the the front section the the mid and the aft, th they're quite big chunks already done for you. It, it sort of puts me in mind of well those, is that Tamia do the the really nice battleship kits. And when you open up the box, the hull is already one piece. And even the lunch bays here, um, you'll see them in a second, but the lunch bays are top and bottom and two tiny little strips of the size. I seem to remember the lunch bays being much bigger. I've got this thing in my head that they were they were these big, huge, gaping chambers, but then I suppose the scale of this, the fighters would actually be really tiny. Um, so yeah, the base stand uh, has the, the crest on it there, and some were tucked in all this craziness. Is a, is a sturdy metal pole for that but there's the, the lunch bays and as you can see you know it's click click and when it comes time to build them 
literally there's there's the little insert that will go inside um, that you can look in and you can see uh, the flight deck, uh, a picture of it, and that's it. You know, two strips up the sides, and then they plug on to the the arms. So the two of those, I'm just going to clip it together here, obviously, because somehow I thought they'd be different. I don't know what. The excitement of not having had a plastic kit for so long, that's what put it down. Well, that's not true. I've bought two because I've done the video, of course, on the, the Space 1999 Neo kit, which I'm terrified of touching. I haven't, I haven't gone near that yet. And I've got the paint guide and build guide and... You know, I'm on the, the Facebook groups that, that build these things all the time. I'm just utterly terrified of building the eagle. Um, so maybe this will be the baptism. Maybe this will cut my teeth again on plastic kits and I'll finally get around to tackle that. I think I've cut away Enterprise still to tackle as well. Maybe maybe I'll keep that one for retirement. But yeah, once once I started sort of tearing open um, the other bags, you're kind of looking at bits going, I have no idea where you go. I have no idea what you're for. The big bits very immediately recognisable almost complete model and you think where does all this gubbins go what, what what are they and I think it was expecting to see guns and gun batteries you know like on a battleship but then I suppose because the, the again the scale of it there you're not seeing the turbo lasers they're they're just there somewhere on the hull but they're not a big enough detail to warrant being in this particular kit we've got sort of cap sections for the catamaran and then the underside of the keel and this is funny you know again having watched Battlestar so often I didn't appreciate there was there was a big chunky bit underneath the ship as well kind of support piece just I'd never noticed it before never seen it before so yeah um on the decals that, that I don't I just think it round to showing you at all and then this bit, these pieces, a lot of these turned out to be parts for the engine section. But again, at the time opening it and looking at it, I'm like, what What are you all for? Where, where are you all going to go? And there's the flight stand rod. Like, ooh, big piece of metal. It goes in here. Hey, look, everybody. I got a big piece of metal. I'm going to stamp it on the table now for, for no discernible reason. Shake it. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. No, tap it. There you go. Look, Andy. Doesn't do anything. See? So little amuses the innocent. Yeah, and look at all these girdery bits and that. I'm thinking, ah, what are these for? Where's all that from? Turns out part of that's like the nose cone. Parts of that for the engine. Parts of it for underneath. For some strange reason. Like some sort of support struts. Those are the sides for the, the lunch bays. Yeah, tweak that. You see? That's me showing off that I recognise something. Nothing on the inside, nothing to see here. But yeah, as you can see, even all the, the Govensy bits. Um, now, th 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 it's, it, uh, there, there is weird little extra bits of plastic, flash and whatever else. There's there's quite quite a bit here and there. And uh, later on when you're, you're watching the build, you, you will see as I struggle on a few occasions. It all, it all looks fairly clean and tidy. Uh, at this stage, as you're taking it apart and sort of looking at the bits going, oh, yeah, when you don't know where they're going and you're not test fitting them, everything looks kind of fine. Um, but I have to say now, there was one section on one of the struts running down to the lunch bay that physically had to cut part of the model kit away to let the, the face plate that kind of masked the, the inside join up. And, and I thought, well, I've, I've pressed it all together too tight or something. I've tried pulling it apart. You'll see it in, uh, I think it's in like video three. Because uh, I tried to break down each section in a wee video so you're not spending the entire night, A, listening to me talking in this dull monotone, and B, watching a guy building a plastic spaceship. Um, you can see bits of flies there because I'm kind of wondering, why won't the engines go in? Hmm, they won't go in. But odd. Where's that for? That's odd. Looks enginey, but it's not. But yeah, there's flash that's actually stopping the engines coming out. And uh, there's me sort of figuring out, oh look, I can kind of set it all together and let them see overall the, the shape of it. It's, it's funny, again, it's 
Back to front, Andy. That bit's back to front. No, he can't hear me. He's he's oblivious. And now he tweaked that that piece was part of the, yeah, part of the neck, for the bridge. It's like it's like a kind of eagle transporter's daddy. It's a big giant eagle. Now I want to build the eagle. Oh, shut up. So yeah. In its in its full glory, it it does clock in. I think at seventeen inches. I, I seem to remember when I was doing this. I did grab a tape measure at some point, and uh, run at the length of it, and you will get a seventeen inch model. Uh, when all said and done, so you go look at that. And of course, this was inspired by. Uh, I wanted to do this story because I'd seen a MacWorld DE game at Salute three, four years ago, and they'd a, a blown up one of these, big explosion and all, in the middle of it, as their, their tiny ships were racing around the board in their space race game. Oh, there we are, like that. And, and yeah, turn it upside down, because that makes sense. No, think about it. No, you're going to measure it? You're going to turn it upside down again? Oh, it is upside down. Yeah. Dev. Anyway. So there you go. Trying to figure out where the, where the engine is and where the front's going to start. But that gives you it general gist. Anyway, that's the, the overall impression. At this stage I was like, yeah, this all looks good. All all nice and clean and crisp. That starts to change as the building takes place. The fun, the fun swiftly ends. But it's all good. <laughs>